So we have our page calendar and we have our calendar itself. We have a nav bar, we have a nav bar background. So if we look within our design, you'll note that we have calendar, we have nav bar. So it will mimic exactly the structure. And if we look within nav bar, we have our BG, we have user menu. So we should see user menu shortly, user menu. You'll note that there are a lot of things missing, but simply just by renaming a couple layers and reorganizing layers, you'll see that we easily corrected uh, some of the display errors. And we Welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a deep look at your very first JavaScript export from XD, along with the files that will encompass and also some errors you might run into. So with this example, we're going to look at our calendar export specifically, uh, also our inbox. Uh, so let's just go to, for instance, inbox two. So we're going to take a look at both these exports and examine uh, the differences as to how they do export and what we can do to correct any errors that we might uh, encounter. So if we just go ahead and run a JavaScript export on all the items, what this will do is in essence create an individual HTML and JavaScript file per artboard and it will reference the actual artboards that we have within our list. So we're going to note this uh, within the output. So let's just go ahead and save that. Now, if we take a look at the files, uh, like I said, we're going to have an individual HTML file uh, and an individual JavaScript file per artboard within our project. So if we look here, we have our calendar one, our HTML and our JS, our calendar two, similar calendar three. And if we look within our actual design, calendar one, calendar two, calendar three, we can also note uh, some other quick ones. For instance, component one, component two. Uh, we have here, let's look really quick. Actually, we have component nine, eight, seven, and six. So you'll note here component nine, component eight, component seven, etc. So it will create an individual HTML and JS per artboard. And within the actual JS, we'll note how each of the designs are rendered based on the elements. So if we go ahead and we take a look at the HTML, You'll see what it will do is it will actually render all the elements, although these are actual pure HTML files. I'm sorry, I should say pure JavaScript files. And we're going to look at the actual JavaScript code uh, in a second. So let's just take a look at a couple more. Okay, so we've completed our QA. It's rendered, uh, relatively speaking, exactly how we expect. Uh, minus fonts. When you're using JavaScript, we assume that you're loading the fonts that you expect. So if we return now to our actual file list, I already know which ones will encounter errors, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to examine the HTML and the JavaScript with you first, and then we're going to take a look at the errors that we can run into. So if we open up our text editor of choice, and let's per se take a look at the HTML. So you're going to note with all JavaScript, this is going to be very similar. It will give you a base style, and this is required to load the elements. We're going to load this purely in JavaScript shortly, uh, so this will be removed. And within the body, it will actually load the individual JavaScript file based on your artboard. Now what this will do is treat your JavaScript file as a view, so you can reuse this uh, as many times as you require. And in another tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to go over creating modules so you can easily include these in your future projects. So if we take a look at the actual JavaScript, now minus a little bit of white space, and this can happen uh, from time to time with files, what you can do is you can uh, remove this via online editors. Uh, also, we're going to include uh, an update that will remove this for you. But uh, right now, you're going to have to deal with this a little bit. It's annoying, but we're going to have this removed shortly. So. What you will have with your JavaScript is you're going to have a base content container. So this is your main element that will encompass all other elements. And within that, we're going to have now a structure based on our actual uh, XD file. So we have our page calendar and we have our calendar itself. We have a nav bar. We have a nav bar background. So if we look within our design, You'll note that we have calendar, we have nav bar, so it will mimic exactly the structure. And if we look within nav bar, we have our BG, we have user menu, so we should see user menu shortly, 
user menu. So what this will do is this will translate all the elements within your design into pure JavaScript and you'll note here uh, via the code easily. Now again this is pure JavaScript so per se if we were to remove navbar and refresh the page let's actually return to our calendar one So you see here the nav bar is gone, but if we actually undo that, nav bar has returned. So this is pure JavaScript from your XD design. Now I did say there are some errors we can run into and I'm going to demonstrate this really quickly. So if we were to look at some of the inboxes, I know this directly, you're going to note that the elements and let's just open one this did not render as expected within the design. So let's just go back and look at, uh, let's look at inbox two per se. So you'll note here we have a lot of different elements uh, that are basically spanned out throughout the design. But if we take a look at the output, you'll note here that there are some key things missing. Now with JavaScript, it's very specific as to how you layer and nest your layers within XD to get an optimal output. So to give an example of this, let's return to XD. What we're going to do within this design itself, uh, we're going to do a little bit of simple reorganization. So we're going to slide the side menu to the bottom. Uh, so that way this is the first uh, layers that is rendered within the inbox rather than inbox two because we can already tell that this name is used a lot let's uh, change it to view so now we've given it a unique name within here we have another layer called inbox let's call it list inbox list uh, we have our mail detail and let's actually just uh, slide this so it's uh, before the group or actually let's put it before statistics I believe statistics is the background yes it is and to ensure let's possibly call this view as well Now, if we export this, what we've done is we've, in essence, uh, shift items so that we have new layer structure that will render in the output. And this should uh, correct a few of the errors that we've seen. Now, I do know that within this design, there are a lot of names that will need to be renamed simply because you should have unique names. Otherwise, you will run into issues where some elements may not render or they'll render incorrectly, which is what we're seeing in the output. So let's just go back and let's re-export. We could export this individually or export all the artboards once again. Uh, so for argument's sake, let's actually just re-export the entire project. Let's go back and let's take a look at inbox to view. So you'll see here that now we have most of our items corrected uh, where it's showing a lot more of the elements from the output, but it does have some missing within our inbox list. And this is mainly because we have a lot of the exact same layer names and you should always use unique layer names uh, where possible. So export kit will try its best to rename items, but in the scope of the entire project, you may have a lot of layers that reference, uh, I believe what we saw was mail three, mail two, mail one. Correct, yes. You may have a lot of layers that reference this if this layer is copied and pasted in various artboards. So you should always try to have unique names and that will simply correct uh, the display issues that we saw previously. So if we look at the one that was the original, you'll note that there are a lot of things missing. 
but simply just by renaming a couple layers and reorganizing layers, you'll see that we easily corrected uh, some of the display errors and we could go further to continue to uh, optimize all the display errors. So this is quick and easy JavaScript from your Adobe XD design using Export Kit.